my name is Rob Schremer. I am a R&D engineer working for the National Aerospace Laboratory in the Netherlands. I'm also project manager of the DERFOSA project. That is a research project funded by the uh, European Commission. As a consortium, we are developing a avionics backlight uh, system. Uh, normally in an aircraft, uh, the backlight is uh, accomplished using uh, three types of LEDs, uh, red, green and blue. They are mixed via a very, very complex uh, algorithm and electronics. And the benefit of Devosa is that it is very efficient and simple. And uh, also the lifetime of the display is, uh, is quite long. Uh, compared to, for instance, white, light, white LEDs, because white LEDs are, have, a, have a very short lifetime in that type of applications, because the, the, the phosphor is very close to the, to the LED. In, in the Derfosa concept, we overcome that by putting the phosphor a, a bit remote, a distance from the LEDs, so that it will not rise too much in temperature. Last November we did a flight test in the framework of the DEFOSA project, it's an EU project. The main purpose of the test was to see uh, how the display would uh, behave in a real operational environment. And the second aspect of the test was to see uh, what the quality of the display would be under direct sunlight conditions. We did the test at a very high altitude, at flight level 300. And that means that you have a very high brightness uh, conditions, even with sunglasses. And that also means that you have a, a very good, um, can have a very good evaluation of the display. Because normally you would have a, uh, the sunlight on the display causing all kinds of uh, readability uh, issues. And so this test was to see how the display would uh, behave in this condition. The test itself um, was done in, uh, in the Citation 2 uh, laboratory aircraft. Now, during the test we used uh, three test objects, uh, one with uh, a human factors background, one with a, a, certifi a certification background and one with uh, a flight operations background. We did all the tests with and without sunglasses. And we did the tests uh, from the right seat and from behind the pedestal. And we did the tests uh, for several headings, so a lot of uh, questionnaires were filled in. From the ghost testing, we uh, found that the display is responding good. That is, with uh, about 10 milliseconds uh, response. 
so that's good enough to have a, a smooth rolling of the ADI for instance. Uh, my name is uh, Antoine de Reus, um, working at the NLR in the Human Factors Department and participated in these tests, particularly looking at uh, human visual perception uh, aspects. I found the display pretty impressive, the, um, especially the brightness, the contrast and the viewing angles were very good. Even uh, when in difficult circumstances with a lot of light uh, and direct sunlight on the display, the, the display was easily legible. After analysis of all these uh, questionnaires, it was found that the uh, new display uh, is performing uh, very good and even that good that uh, any modifications on the display are not necessary. It is interesting to see what um, a modern display unit, although it is a prototype, um, can already do in, in terms of, uh, of display quality. Well, the flight test was completed successfully, I'm happy with that. I'm really convinced that uh, the, the expectation of their FOSA will finally lead to, uh, to a much better avionics uh, display backlight unit providing a very simple and effective solution for the future.